Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here. And we're about to break some 2020 Bowman Baseball. Jumbo edition, random team break number six. All teams are in, no paper ships except for Jason Dominguez, Robert Pawson, and Bobby Witt Jr. Of course, everything else will ship. Some pretty nice stuff here. Chasing this guy. That's what we're looking for. Big thanks everybody for getting into the action. Whether you bought spots straight up or whether you joined that uh, that filler we did. If you see the little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that in uh, the filler break that we had not too long ago. All teams are in. There they are. So let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Four and a five, nine times. One, two, three. Eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we've got Matthew Shearer down to Jeff Dorlak. All right, four and a five, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. And good luck, everybody. Ninth and final time. After nine, we got the O's down to the Redbirds. All right. Matthew with the Orioles, Wesley with the Twins, Brandon with the Giants and Diamondbacks, Mike Tower with the Red Sox, Jason with the Brew Crew, Greg with the Tigers, Mike with the Royals, Matthew with the Phillies. Mary Lou with the Indians. Pete with the Rays. Anthony with the Blue Jays. Steve, you got my Dodgers. Logan with the Braves. Pete with the Marlins. Greg with the A's. Mark with the White Sox. Brandon with the Pirates. Charles with the Cubs. Anthony with the New York Yankees. Brandon with the Mariners. Pete with the Rangers. AJ with the Reds. Brandon with the Angels. Daniel with the Rockies and the Astros. Andrew with the Mets. Brian with the Padres. Mary with the Nats. Jeff with the St. Louis Cardinals. So let's get all this on... There we go. One screen right here. Let's sort by column B by team. All right, there we go. Okay, I'm going to go pause the video while I go grab those two boxes. And when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we're going to break. Brandon Metzler has the Giants, Diamondbacks, Mariners available for trade. So stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. So we've got, uh, there was a lot of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. It's all good here in two box Ram team number six, jumbo edition. Thanks everyone for making this happen. I appreciate it. We've got one more of these breaks in the store, and I think that's the, I think that's the last one. I know there's eight box in a case. I think we, we, I think we stole one of these boxes for the mixer that's on the site right now. So that's where the other box is. And then I guess that leaves another lonely box. I don't know what we're going to do with that one. Maybe in another mixer. So the baseball season, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're just getting some spring training games going. I'm pretty excited about the upcoming baseball season, boys and girls. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's see, what other big news here? Do we have any any big news? Oh, Jackie Bradley Jr. signed a two-year deal with the Brew Crew. I think for 12, 12 million a year, something like that. It's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal for Jackie Bradley Jr. Playing in Milwaukee. Milwaukee adding some pieces. I think... Astros starter Framber Valdez broke a finger somehow. Surgery is recommended for him. Giants and Scott Casimir agree to a minor league deal. Royals and Hunter Dozier agree to a four-year extension. Calvin Herrera announces his retirement. Braves extend manager Brian Snitker. Justin Wilson signs with the Yankees. Jake Lamb signs with the Braves. Some news. Are we planning on any epic 100-box opening day break? 
No, probably not a hundred bucks. We'll probably have a mixer, but I don't think it's gonna be a hundred boxes. Oh, in those packs? Yeah, there's no hit. It's just mm. cards. I wish there were hits in there. Sounds like a break for Sean. <laughs> we'll make him do it. All right, so paper doesn't go, but obviously chrome and autographs go. Joey Cantillo. 25 out of 250 going to Brian and the Padres. He won that spot in that, that filler break. Yeah, Rebel. It, it just it just takes it just gobbles up too much time. You know, I think in previous years we would do like a hundred box mixer, and um, and I think part of the reason why we did it is because we weren't really, you know, like four four years ago we weren't really you know selling things selling breaks like hotcakes. You know what I mean? Not like these days. There's a Bobby Witt Jr. paper for the Royals that goes to Mike. And so we had time to kind of do a four or five hour mixer because nothing else is really filling up. Nowadays, with so many breaks filling, you know, people want more breaks. We got paper with Merrifield. There's a Robert Pawson paper as well. And a Taylor Trammell to $4.99. Paper for Brian M. and the Friars. The paper Robert Pawson goes to Greg and the A's. And Whit Merrifield to $4.99. I think the other problem with like those huge hundred box mixers, it takes forever to sort and chip out. People are like waiting a long time for their hits. Um, and a lot of times, you know, you know, when you're doing like a hundred or five hundred box mixer or something like that, some of the boxes aren't very good. <laughs> Unless it's a super expensive break. There's Miguel Vargas for my Dodgers. That goes to Steve Wright. I don't know what he's been doing in spring training, if anything. I know um, Pagus, Andy Pagus, I think. I think he has been getting some playing time. We've seen some of his stuff. I don't know if he's in this particular set, but we have seen his stuff in sets. I think he's been looking pretty good. I don't know if he's going to make the team, but... So far, so good. And we've got another Joey Cantillo. This time a refractor autograph to four ninety nine. The other one was a purple autograph, so some nice parallel autos for Brian Magnus and the Friars. Bill <laughs> Bill Mosher saying, I love baseball so much. I can only take so much spring training, though. Yeah. I think the first few games are always super exciting. Because you're like, yeah, spring training. And then, you know, then you you're, you're then you're just start thinking, now I just want real baseball. Where's my, where's my paper stack? That goes here. Chrome. 
Sorry, stack goes here. All right, we got Nick Bennett to 125. That'll be for the Brewers. That'll be for Jason. Justin May has been looking pretty good in spring training. Isn't Casas doing well, or is it Dalbeck that's doing well? Both, maybe? It's kind of fun to start seeing some of these names that, because, you know, when, I mean, when did this Bowman come out, you know what I mean? I'll make an exception for that Cardinals R.O.S.O. and you caught my eye. I, know, I was going to say, the other good thing is that now with spring training coming up, you're starting to see some of these names that we've been collecting over the last couple of years, these prospect names, and, and we're starting to see these names get some playing time in spring training, and that kind of gets you, gets me anyway, excited as... You know, we're following these, seeing who's hashtag good for the hobby and, and who's not. Yeah, I do like that. There, there is a lot more. It's the casual atmosphere of spring training does offer a lot more mic'd up opportunities. Bill's pointing out, which I do like as well. We got Cannon Smith, Cannon Smith, thirty-five out of seventy-five. Yellow parallel for the Yankees. It's going to go to Anthony. I don't think I saw any Jason Dominguez paper in here, Anthony, but maybe in the next box. That's, that's what makes it fun. Ohms, you don't see your name. You bought into this one. What what is what is your name? Yeah, that Will Ferrell year was really great. He think he's gotta do more of that. Oh, you're Omar. No, you bought into the filler for this break, and you did not win a spot. Unless you bought a spot straight up. No, yeah, you bought into the filler. You actually won, I think you probably won a team. So check the video for that filler, and you'll see what you won. Because you can win either spots in NT Baseball or you can win spots in this break. So if you if you didn't win a spot here, that means you must have, you must have, no, you didn't. I'm looking at your orders right now. You bought into the filler. I, I see your order right now. You're guaranteed a spot in either NT or Bowman Jumbo. And we did the randomizer and that video is up already. I'm pretty sure unless I forgot to upload it. No, video is up already, so you can go there and you can see what team you want. So you probably want an NT team, which is probably pretty good. And that break's coming up next. That's on the schedule. Oh, there you go. I'm sure that's more than the cost of the spot. Thanks, Brandon, for taking a look at that.
Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. And we've got purple, Logan Davidson to 250. That's for Greg and the A's. I think someone was saying, was it Oliver Yu Chang hit a couple homers in a game? That's pretty good. There's Wander Franco. Nice. He hit, I think, his debut in spring training this year. First pitch homer. 14 out of 150. You're in that NT hope set? Nice. Cool. Yeah, that'll happen after this. Check the schedule, folks. All right. There's Gus Varland. Get on the bus, Gus. Don't need to be coy, Roy. That's Greg and the A's. Yeah, well, uh, Omar, uh, Brandon Metzler also helped you out. He, he put in the chat that you hit the Braves, too. Congrats. I think that's more than the cost of the spot. Nice A's for Greg. And we got a Bobby Bradley Rookie of the Year Favorites autograph. 118 out of 150. And that'll be for the tribe. Mary Lou with the Cleveland Indians. Or I guess just the Cleveland baseball team this year. I don't know how they're doing that. And there's our first paper, Dominguez. Bowman first. That'll be for Anthony and the Yankees. I guess we'll, we can track his minor league experience this year, finally. Hopefully he's on a fast track. And it'll be hashtag good for the hobby. And we got Diosbel Arias, 207 out of 499, refractor autograph for Texas. Pete with the Rangers. I think that was our third autograph, right? So maybe we're just looking for parallels. Now there's Logan Gilbert to 150 for the M's. I'll go to Brandon Metzler. Mar Mariners have a lot of young, up-and-coming talent that could emerge in the next season or two. That will be a fun team to, to keep an eye on. Mixing my paper. More coffee, maybe.
Paper Possum. Another one for Greg and the A's. Ryan Mountcastle on MLB Network right now. He could have, he could be breakout player of the year. The Orioles actually could be a pretty fun team to watch with all of their young talent. All right, and there's your break, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and that was two boxes of 2020 Bowman Baseball Jumbo Edition Random Team number six. I'll see you next time for the next break, jazbeescasebreaks.com.